Justin Walker, Reverend Josh Alexander. Hey, this is the franchise stand up. Hi, this is Christian Kirkland, and you're watching. You're watching Ollie Harper on TNT. If you want the lowdown on wrestling, get here to this podcast with Ollie Harper, my man. <laughs> WrestleMania 39, we're in, we checked in, we've got the food, we've got the drink, we've got everything going on, we're here, rotating <laughs> round, taking it all in, woo, I <laughs> saw that, <laughs> but yeah, we're here guys, so let's embrace, let's enjoy, it's going to be fun tonight guys, night two, American Nightmare, finish the story, woo, finish the story, finish the story, that is something that I was saying in SoFi Stadium this past April. That's what I was saying when I was wearing my Cody Rhodes Nightmare Family tracksuit jacket that I bought from the Mania Superstore that cost me about just above $80 with the 9.5 LA sale tax. Um... I bought everything. I bought the Finish the Story t-shirt. I bought the dra the jacket. I, I went for it because I love Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is one of my absolute favorites currently in WWE right now. And I want to see him prevail. I want to see him at the top of the mountain. Um, he's a good wrestler, but I mean, I enjoyed him in AEW. And, you know, it's definitely something. Now, today's video... We're going to be doing a bit of stuff. We're going to look at a couple of clips. We're going to try and, you know, bring a few things together. Because I think from this past weekend, there has been quite a lot of information. Well, not a lot of discussion, should I say, with The Rock and Pat McAfee coming to, coming to SmackDown this past Friday night in Denver, Colorado. And I think people are now starting to wonder, is The Rock going to be penciled in? For WrestleMania 40 next year in Philadelphia. And, you know, here I am to uh, break it down for you guys. So, a lot of people are starting to think, you know, is this going to be taking it away from Cody? Are people, is this going to be the, uh, the you know, is Cody not going to get his, t his time? You know, are we not going to see Roman and Cody next year? Is this all one big you know, thing that ain't going to happen. And, you know, I think that uh, what we got to look at, I think people are just panicking a little bit, a little bit prematurely. Um, and you've got to really, let, we've got to break this down for you. So let's look at this first clip, which I want to give you guys right now. This is from the, and I credit WWE for this. This is from the, w, this is from the Money in the Bank press conference from this past uh, July in London with Cody Rhodes. Check it out. Winning the World Heavyweight Championship would be outstanding. Yeah. It would be amazing. Yeah. It is the title on the flagship show, Monday Night Raw. Absolutely. Matters, is important, and what Seth is doing with it is a special thing, and you're going to see that title will mean far more in five minutes and then in ten minutes. He's every second it gains equity. Um... But finishing the story was always, always about the title that uh, uh, my dad didn't get, and uh, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna spoil anything because the Peacock people will, will murder me. Um, but you'll probably hear some news about my documentary at some point soon, finally, because these people have been filming me for gosh knows how long, and it's covered a lot in there as far as that's what the story was. You know, he really did hold it, and he held it in the garden, and like. Ah, it ate me up that he, he never got it. So that's finishing the story. The World Heavyweight Championship is a whole nother story. It is. And um, again, very special. The main title on Monday Night Raw. Um, I don't look down on it in, in any way. Awesome. Well, Cody, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. So from that clip, you can already see. Finish the story. Nothing about the World Heavyweight Championship. That ain't, that's a different story, you know, that's a different, um, that is a different thing for Cody completely, you know, he wants the WWE, you know, it's the WWE, it's all about the WWE Championship, and 
I still believe that we are going to get Cody and Roman next year in uh, at 40 in, in Philadelphia. Um, because there's a lot, there's a big rumor mill out there and people do think, you know, about Roman finishing up next year and this being, you know, the reset of everything going forward in WWE. And I think when you look at it, at WrestleMania 30, Daniel Bryan was the guy to pick, finally win, finally win that big opportunity. And he kind of was the guy at the time that the WWE wanted on top. You know, this, okay, well, it wasn't who they wanted. It was who the fans wanted to put in that position because if it had been WWE's way, we would have seen a different main event back at 30. But um, where we are right now, I do still believe that we will get Cody and Roman next year. Um, remember, WrestleMania is a two-night show. And they want to make it as big, jam-packed as it can be. Um, and without a doubt, you've got to do Cody and Roman on night two. There's no, there's no getting away from it. This has to be the match on WrestleMania Sunday. Without a doubt, this has to be the match. The, this is the showcase. This is the big match. And, you know... But then let's 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 have a little look at what the Rock, the Rock's back. Well, the Rock has made an appearance. He was on Pat McAfee last week. Let's have a look at what he had to say. Last year in LA, <laughs> yeah. so far, uh -huh. Roman obviously on an incredible run. Yeah. The bloodline, huh? Yeah. They're not talking about my bloodline. No. no. They're not talking about Connor's no, bloodline. No. Definitely not. But Ty's definitely not. Nope. Mm. Tones, no. AJ Hawk's bloodline runs real deep. They're not yeah. talking about. They were talking about. Uh, yeah. Your bloodline. So that story was a big one. The Rock and Roman, SoFi, L.A. How close? Did that ever uh, And Was that close? All right. So The, the Rock uh, headlining WrestleMania with Roman Reigns, SoFi Stadium. Uh, that was locked. Oh, what? Oh. We were doing <laughs> it. We, we were doing it. We, no, we, we, we were doing it. We were doing it. But let me just tell you. So uh, about a, in, in the beginning of 2022, um, Nick Khan, who we know, shout friend out to of ours, Nick, shout out very Nick. good friend, long Dog. time for years. Dog. Uh, yeah. He's the man. He was very instrumental in bringing Vince and I together. We all flew to L.A. We met. We sat. This is the beginning in 2022. And we broke out <laughs> Terra Mana. We toasted life, yeah, toasted yeah. the business we love. And about an hour later, we started talking about the potential of what this match could be between yeah. myself and Roman Reigns headlining WrestleMania at SoFi. And we shook hands and we hugged right there, all three of us at the table, and said, let's do this. And so the North Star, though, so then we had a year mm -hmm. to yeah. really think about this. Yeah. So the North Star thought was, okay, let's not do something good. Let's not do something great. Let's do something unprecedented. And it was in what can we create for the fans that has never been done before. A match, great. Roman, incredible athlete. He's going to be on Mount Rushmore. Super handsome. Right? Super handsome, good dude. My cousin, family. It's amazing. We can have the match, but the bigger thought was, what can we do for the fans in this business that we love that will, uh, where, where WrestleMania isn't the end of something, it's actually the beginning of something bigger. Got it. So. So what happened? <laughs> so we got really, really close, but we couldn't actually yeah. nail what yeah. that thing was. So we decided to put our pencils down, and then we agreed, hey, listen, there's, uh, there is a merger coming up, Eventually that will happen. There's WrestleMania in Philadelphia. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. The eyebrow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what are you saying? Whoa. I'm saying, I'm saying that that's a potential too. So oh, okay. Booster asses, bitches. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you now, guys. The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the Brahma Bull, the most electrifying man and all of sports entertainment. Just bring it. And I'll tell you now, we can get The Rock and we can get Roman as well. We can get Rock and Roman. We can get Cody and Roman. It's 40. And if you heard that interview, I read between the lines of a lot of what was said there. And the thing that they said was, "Let's. I want to give back. Let's give back to the fans. 
And how do you give back to the fans? By giving them that spectacle match. You give them The Rock versus Roman. But you also give them Roman and Cody. Roman works two nights. Back to back. I don't see any harm in it. I don't see any problem in it. The Rock ain't going to be here to carry WWE. He ain't here to be the poster boy of the 90s like before. This ain't what The Rock is here to do. This is his match. This is the match that the people want to see. Let's do something we haven't done before. If you heard it right there. This is his, this is the chance. This is what they've got. This is the marquee match for night one of WrestleMania 40. Rock, Roman. You do that, you put the title on the line, fine. But you do it. And then Rock puts Roman over. Everybody wins. It's a tight little system. Rock v. Roman on night one. Roman v. Cody on night two. The only other I mean, people, I mean, another thing I've also thought about is what about a triple threat? You do Rock, Roman and Cody for all of it. I don't know if that has the same buzz because personally, I think with WWE, they want to stretch all this out. And um, I, you, you could have two potential big stories right there. And Roman's working one match, then he's working another match. It's, I don't know. But I definitely think that to get the most out of Roman Reigns, if he is definitely on his way out of the company next year after WrestleMania, you do two big matches on the same weekend. You do, like I say, you do Roman and The Rock and you do Roman and Cody. And that is the way to get to finish Roman's, you know, time in WWE. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it really is a... Uh, I like I like The Rock. Always loved The Rock when I was a kid. You know, grew up watching The Rock. Loved The Rock. Um, it was nostalgic to see him back in a WWE ring after so many years. You know, and of course Cody as well. Cody's my guy right now. So there is definitely that buzz. But I think the internet is panicking a little bit. People think that they're moving away from Cody, which I don't think is the case. I think that the idea is you got to think of WWE like this. You got to think of it as a, it's a, you know it's a huge business, huge business, huge money. You know, with the uh, the TKO now with them and the UFC all under one name and all under one brand. Um, it's got to be the biggest mania going after this deal. After this deal with the UFC and with Endeavor. This has got to be the biggest WrestleMania to date. And how do you do it? By you, well, you get Roman, you get Rock, you get Cody, and you have Roman work two shows. Simple. It's not. That's how you do it, guys. And I'm telling you now, if that that is the only, I think that's the only way they can do this. Um, because you got to think of it as well. What does Cody do if he doesn't wrestle Roman? I mean, they ain't going to have him wrestle Seth, are they? Come on, like I said, from the Money in the Bank interview. Come on, this is uh, definitely a, like I say, this has to be Cody winning at the end of night two. If we're going to move away from this Roman Reigns era and we're going to go into a new era of American Nightmare and finishing the story and all that, that is the only way we do it. Rock comes in for one show. All it is. He ain't going to be there in two months. He ain't going to be there after WrestleMania. The Rock is just here for one match. That's all it has to be. Just bring it. The Rock is here. One show, one night, one match. That's it. You know, Cody is working all the, all the dates. He's doing all the house shows. He's doing all the live events. He's signing all the posters. He's, he's signing all the weight belts. So, you know, like I said, guys. The only way that WrestleMania 40 can work is you do Roman work in double duty, night one, night two. And like I said, from all them clips, I think this is what we're going to see. We're going to see Roman and Cody night two, and we're going to see Roman and Rock night one. But like I say, I want to hear what you guys have got to say. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. And if you want to see more video notifications from me, Ollie, aka TNS Attitude, I didn't even do that in the intro, then hit that bell icon and you will get notified when I am posting new content here on TNS Attitude here on YouTube.com. Anyway, guys, that is today's video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you down the road for another one. I'm out, guys.